Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Friday, February 14th, 2020. Today I'm going to talk about college basketball, NBA, and the All-Star Weekend, NHL. Um, some interesting uh, broadcasting media news that I want to get to. Um, Daytona 500 is on Sunday, so I'll pick a winner. Um, American Idol starts on Sunday, so I'm going to preview that a little bit. Um, MLB redraft and my best bet of the day. All right, we'll start in college basketball. A big slate last night. We'll go over the results, look ahead to a short slate tonight and the rest of the weekend. So without further ado, here we go. Sacramento over Bryant, 74-65. Longwood over to UNC Asheville, 73-71. Or is the other way around? UNC Asheville over Longwood, my bad. Stetson over North Alabama, 75-64. or 64. Fairleigh Dickinson over Wagner, 106-73. Merrimack over St. Francis, Brooklyn, 60-50. LIU over Central Connecticut State, 90-74. Robert Morris over Mount St. Mary, 77-60. Delaware over Elan, 81-75. Youngstown State over Detroit Mercy, 76-72. Oakland over Cleveland State, 79-74. Wichita State over... UCF 75-58. Cincinnati over Memphis 92-86 in overtime. Memphis led the entire game. Credit Cincinnati on the comeback. Florida Gulf Coast over Kennesaw State 70-58. North Florida over Jacksonville 81-66. Campbell over Hampton 75-49. Hofstra over Charleston 76-63. William and Mary over Drexel 77-72. Tennessee Tech over Jacksonville State 75-74. Georgia Southern over Coastal Carolina 79-69. Georgia State over App State, 76-65. Yale Monroe over Troy, 74-71. Gardner-Webb over Winthrop, 74-70. Radford over Presbyterian, 81-71. Louisiana Tech over FIU, 60-57. Charleston Southern over High Point, 66-63. Lipscomb over NJIT, 77-63. Eastern Kentucky over Moorhead State, 78-71. Indiana over number 21, Iowa, 89-77. Southern Miss over FAU, 68-66. Old Dominion over Rice, 73-70. South Alabama over Louisiana, 78-75. Northern Colorado over Northern Arizona, 84-54. North Texas over Charlotte, 81-72. Belmont over Tennessee State, 74-51. Texas Rio Grande over Utah Valley, 80-72. Texas Arlington over Arkansas State, 77-67. Texas State over... Little Rock, 74-66. Southeast Missouri State over Tennessee Martin, 74-72. Number 17, Oregon over number 16, Colorado, 68-60. Grand Canyon over UMKC, 71-66 in overtime. UTSA over Marshall, 72-63. USC over Washington, 62-56. San Francisco over Santa Clara, 70-61. SIU Edwardsville over Eastern Illinois, 76-74. Oregon State over Utah, 70-51. Montana State over Idaho State, 73-69. Montana over Weber State, 72-37. Western Kentucky over UTEP, 67-62. New Mexico State over Seattle, 72-64. Austin Peay over Murray State, 71-68. Cal State Bakersfield over Chicago State, 64-54. UC Davis over UC Santa Barbara, 84-75. Cal Baptist over Westcliff, 107-45. Pacific over Portland, 75-55. Cal State Northridge over Cal Poly, 81-73. Sacramento State over Southern Utah, 70-55. Arizona over Cal, 68-52. Idaho over Eastern Washington, 74-71. Arizona State over Stanford, 74-69. Pepperdine over San Diego, 72-69. UCLA over Washington State, 86-83 in overtime. And BYU over Loyola Marymount, 77-54. All right, tonight's slate. I'm going to go over the uh, slate and then say the ESPN app line and what I would make it and then do my pick. All right. Um, first game, 6.30 CBS Sports Network, Buffalo at Toledo. Toledo's given one and a half. I have Buffalo by one, so I'm going to take the Bulls plus the points. I think the Bulls went out right. 7 o'clock ESPN 2, Davidson and St. Bonaventure. I have Bonaventure by four. On the app, and then what I really have it is seven and a half. So give me Bonaventure minus the four. 
APY in Northern Kentucky, Akron at Central Michigan and ESPNU. Akron's a three and a half point favorite. I have Akron by one and a half, so give me Central and the points. Monmouth at Canisius, Fairfield at Maris, Manhattan at Iona, Kanipiak at St. Peter's, Brown at Penn, Columbia at Dartmouth, Cornell at Harvard, Yale at Princeton on ESPN News. Yale's a four and a half point favorite. I have Yale by a half, so give me Princeton. Plus the points. And Princeton's been playing a little better in conference play. 8 o'clock, Denver at San Diego State. Purdue Fort Wayne at Northern Dakota State. ESPN 2, UIC at Wright State. Wright State's 10 and a half by favorite. I have Wright State by 12, so give me Wright State minus the points. And last but not least, ESPN U at 9 o'clock, Ryder at Siena. Siena's a five point favorite. I have Siena by one. So give me Ryder plus the five. I think Siena will win, though. All right, tomorrow, busy day. Um, I'm just going to pick the winner straight up. Um, 12 o'clock, ESPN Oklahoma at Kansas. Kansas. ESPN 2, Syracuse at number 8, Florida State. Florida State. Northwestern at number 13, Penn State. Penn State. Purdue at Ohio State. Ohio State. Tulsa at South Florida on ESPNU. Tough one. Um, let's go with Tulsa on the road. St. Joe's at Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Charleston at Northeastern. 12:30, number six Dayton at UMass. We're gonna go with Dayton on the road. Number 24, Texas Tech at Oklahoma State at one o'clock on CBS. Let's go with Tech on the road. Mississippi State at Arkansas. Tough one. Let's go with Mississippi State on the road. Arkansas has fallen off a cliff. Lee and Army, New Hampshire at UMBC, Cleveland State at Detroit Mercy, Ohio at Kent State. Sanford at the Citadel, East Tennessee State at VMI, Fairleigh Dickinson at Robert Morris, Bowling Green at Ball State, 2 o'clock ESPN, Ole Miss at number 12, Kentucky, Kentucky. Florida A&M at Delaware State, ESPNU, Old Dominion at North Texas, Old Going North Texas at home, Coastal Carolina at Georgia State, San Jose State at Air Force, let's go with Air Force at home, do I feel great about it? No. Bradley at Southern Illinois on CBS Sports Network, are we going to go with, hmm, Bradley on the road. American at Bucknell, ESPN 2, Texas at Ohio State, or Iowa State. Texas needs this one, guys. Um, and plus, um, Iowa State's best player got injured, so we're going to go with Texas on the road. Wake at Miami, Miami. Binghamton at Vermont. UMass Lowell at Hartford. Lafayette at Holy Cross, 215. Big Ten Eric, Wisconsin at Nebraska. Give me Wisconsin on the road. 230 on Fox, Georgetown, number 19, Butler. We're going to go with Butler in that one. Western Michigan at Eastern Michigan. NBCSN LaSalle at St. Louis. We're going to go with St. Louis at home. 3 o'clock FAO at Louisiana Tech. Arkansas State at Texas State. Little Rock at Texas Arlington. Youngstown State at Oakland. Charlotte at Rice. FIU at Southern Miss. Western Kentucky at UTSA. UAB at Middle Tennessee. Houston Baptist at Lamar. Northern Illinois at Miami of Ohio at 3.30. Georgia at Texas A&M. We're going to go with... Hmm, tough one. A&M at home. Don't feel good about it, though. Bryant at Central Connecticut State. 4 o'clock ESPN Plus. Number 14, West Virginia at number 1, Baylor. I'm going to say Baylor wins a close one. I think that uh, West Virginia coming off a couple losses here. Um, they're under some pressure. At least be competitive. Um, everyone's going to write them off. Say that they are overseeded and the... Um, top 16, which I thought they were, and I think they'll be competitive. I give them a chance to win outright, but I'm going to say Baylor wins. Number five, Louisville, Clemson, Louisville. Four o'clock ESPN, Notre Dame at number seven, Duke, Duke. ESPN two, number 25, LSU at Alabama, LSU. St. Francis, Pennsylvania at Mount St. Mary's, Chattanooga at Furman, Marshall at Utah, Bethune-Cookman at Maryland Eastern, App State at Georgia Southern. UNC Wilmington at Hofstra, Wagner at Merrimack, Coppice State at SC State, Kennesaw State at Stetson, VCU at Richmond on CBS Sports Network, and we're going to go with the Spiders at home. BU at Navy, McNeese at Northwestern State, Southeast Louisiana at Nichols, Colorado State at Wyoming, we're going to go with Colorado State on the road, Drexel at Elon, Delaware at William & Mary, Winthrop at Presbyterian, number 22, Illinois at Rutgers, Big Ten Network, 430, we're going to go with Rutgers at the rack. They're unstoppable at the rack, and they need this game. Radford at Campbell. That's a good one. Campbell 
has been sneaky good lately. Cover machine, beating everybody. They've turned um, their conference play around a little bit. So I think Radford's a little bit on upset alert here. Um, Charleston Southern at UNC Asheville, Eastern Kentucky at Austin P. Abilene Christian at A&M, Corpus Christi. CBS Sports Network, George Washington at George Mason. We're going to go with George Mason at home. UNC Greensboro at Mercer, Central Arkansas, Sam Houston State. Sacred Heart at Long Island, Loyal Marymount at Santa Clara at 5 o'clock. We're going to go to Santa Clara at home. They need that one. SA Edwardsville at Southeast Missouri State, Moran State at Murray State. Kansas State at TCU. We're going to go with TCU at home. Florida Gulf Coast at Lipscomb, North Alabama, North Florida. Eastern Illinois at Tennessee Martin. 6 o'clock ESPN, number 9 Maryland at Michigan State. I think this is a good spot for the Spartans to remind people that they're very talented. So um, give me Sparty at home, and I don't love the Terps on the road. ESPN 2, number 11 Auburn at Missouri. We're going to go with Auburn. ESPNU, number 20, Houston, SMU. Let's go with SMU at home for the upset. CBS Sports Network, UNLV at New Mexico. We're going to go with New Mexico at home. Brown and Princeton, Yale at Penn. Tennessee at South Carolina. We're going to go with South Carolina at home there. ACC Network, Pitt at Virginia Tech. Let's go with Virginia Tech at home. I don't like how Pitt looked against Clemson the other night. Southern Utah at Northern Arizona. Utah Valley at New Mexico State. Jacksonville State at Belmont. Hampton at Longwood. Alabama and m at Alabama State. Mississippi Valley State at Alcorn State. Grambling at Prairie View at 6.30. Arkansas Pine Bluff at Southern. Morgan State at Norfolk State. 7 o'clock. Columbia at Harvard. Louisiana at Troy. NJIT at Liberty. Western Carolina at Wofford. Incarnate Word at New Orleans. Cornell at Dartmouth. SC Upstate at High Point. UC Riverside at Long Beach State. Valparaiso at Illinois State. Green Bay at Milwaukee. 7.30, DePaul at number 23, Creighton. We're going to go with Creighton at home. 8 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, number 10, Seton Hall at Providence. We're going to take Seton Hall here to bounce back and win on the road. Weber State at Montana State, Vandy at Florida. We're going to go with Florida at home. Secretly good game, um, Northern Iowa at Loyola Chicago and ESPN 2. We're going to go with Sister Claire and Loyola Chicago. Do I feel great about it? No, but let's roll with it. Cal State Northridge at UC Davis. Towson at James Madison. Washington State at USC. We're going to go with USC at home again. South Dakota at Oral Roberts. Pacific at St. Mary's. These two teams are combined 40 and 14. Pacific, good story. Um, if we're talking about BYU as a possible at large team, we have to talk about Pacific too. I'm sorry. But um, because Pacific has more wins than BYU. But St. Mary's is going to win this game. I think if Pacific were to get this game on the road, then they have to seriously be considered for an at-large. Chicago State at Grand Canyon, Seattle at Texas Rio Grande, North Dakota at Western Illinois, ESPN Virginia at North Carolina. We're going to go with Virginia on the road. Carolina just stinks. Although, can you just totally see, see this be the game where Cole Anthony breaks through, Carolina pulls off an upset? I think that um, they're kind of over it. Their letdown game was against Georgia Tech. I think they'll be competitive here. But um, I don't know if they'll actually win the game. 8.30, Jackson State at Texas Southern. Tennessee Tech at Tennessee State. 9 o'clock, Cal Poly at Cal State Fullerton. Idaho and Montana. Number 2, Gonzaga at Pepperdine. 10 o'clock on ESPN. Gonzaga on the road. Book it. 10 o'clock, Fox Sports Network. Number 16, Colorado at Oregon State. We're going to go with Colorado here in a bounce back spot. ESPN 2, Washington at UCLA. We're going to go with UCLA at home. They're playing better in conference play. Utah State at Fresno State on ESPNU. We're going to go with Utah State on the road. They're in play for an at-large bid. So give me Utah State on the road. BYU at San Diego. CBS Sports are We're going to go with BYU. UMKC at Cal State Bakersfield. Northern Colorado at Sacramento State. Eastern Washington at Portland State. 1030 Arizona at Stanford. We're going to go with Arizona on the road. Stanford has just fallen apart. And then... Midnight Eastern, ESPN2, UC Irvine at Hawaii. Tough one. We're going to go with Hawaii at home in this one. Sunday, 12 o'clock, CBS Sports Arc, Cincinnati at East Carolina. 1 o'clock, ESPN, number 15, Villanova at Temple. We're going to go with Villanova here on the road to um, a little bit of a get-right spot for them. 1 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, number 21, Iowa at Minnesota. 
Am I going to pick Minnesota here? Seriously? No, I'm not. Iowa on the road is so bad against inferior teams. They just got killed by Indiana. They were killed by Purdue. I think they'll win against Minnesota. Bounce back spot. I swear, if they lose to Minnesota on the road, um, they're in trouble. So, um, give me Iowa on the road. CBS, Indiana, at Michigan. Um, I have two teams that um, need this game for uh, resume purposes. I'm going to give it to... Um, uh, I'm going to go with Indiana. I'm sorry, Michigan. Albany at Maine, Maris at Iona, Mammoth at Niagara, 2 o'clock UIC at Northern Kentucky, Decane at Fordham. I'm going to go with Decane on the road. IPOI at Wright State, Manhattan at Siena, Colgate at Loyola, Maryland. Fairfield at St. Peter's, CBS Sports Network, Tolina at Wichita State. We're going to go with Wichita at home. 3 o'clock ESPN, Memphis at UConn. UConn's been better in conference play. I'm going to take them to win this game at home. Purdue Fort Wayne at South Dakota State. 4 o'clock CBS Sports Network. Number 4, San Diego State at Boise State. We're going to go San Diego State on the road. Canopiac at Ryder, Evansville at Drake. ESPN U, Missouri State at Indiana State. We're going to go with Indiana State at home. 5.30, Denver at Omaha. 6 o'clock ACC Network, NC State at Boston College. We're going to go with NC State on the road. Arizona State at Cal on ESPNU. We're going to go with Arizona State on the road. 9 o'clock Fox Sports 1, Utah at number 17, Oregon. We're going to go with Oregon at home in that one. Now we're going to do NBA. We're going to go over the two games from last night and pick all the fun stuff for... All-Star Weekend. Thunder over the Pelicans, 123-118. Thunder go into the All-Star break with a record of 32-22, and and New Orleans is 23-32. and Celtics over the Clippers, 141-133, in double overtime in one of the better games of the season. Boston, 38-16, Clippers, 37-18. Tonight is the uh, Rising Stars game at 9 o'clock on... TNT, but before that, we have the Celebrity All-Star Game, which is always fun. NBA legends and WNBA stars. Um, ESPN New York's Peter Rosenberg's involved. He's been involved with that the last couple of years. Mark Jones will be on the call. Um, Michael P. Jordan's normally in this game. You see uh, a lot of other guys involved, sometimes Spike Lee. Sometimes some other guys. Um, so that should be fun. I'm going to say that um, Michael P. Jordan's involved. And uh, if he plays, he's the MVP. And I'm interested to see what WNBA players are in it. Rising Stars Challenge, 9 o'clock TNT. This is, is going to be um, Reggie Miller, Chris Webber, Kevin Harlan. So all those guys on the call. It's World versus U. SA. So um you'll see a lot of first and second year players playing in this game. Um I'm gonna go with World in this game. And there's been a couple players that are gonna be playing in both this game and in the uh um the All Star game, such as um uh Luka Doncic, but USA is a four and a half favorite. Um so I think that's a little strange. So, um, hmm. I'm going to go with Team World plus the four and a half. I think Team World wins. Um, guys to keep an eye out for. If Doncic plays, he'll be the best player in this game. Um, Zion, I don't know if we'll see him in this game. He should be playing in this game. John Morant's going to be in this game. R.J. Barrett will play. Um, Colin Sexton, I believe, is in it. A few second-year guys are in this game. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else. Doncic, probably DeAndre Ayton. Um, Marvin Bagley's hurt. So, um, give me World plus the four and a half. I think World wins. And um, if Doncic plays, he's the MVP. So that should be fun. 
On Saturday night, you have the skills competition, the three-point contest, and then the dunk contest. I have odds up here for uh, three-point in skills. Three-point Joe Harris is the plus-350 favorite. Trey Young's plus-390. Davis Bertans is plus-460 as well as Duncan Robinson. Devin Booker's 5-1. Buddy Heald's 7-1. Devontae Graham and Zach Levine are each 12-1. I'm going to pick Buddy Heald at 7-1. He's on a hot streak lately. Ever since um, Sacramento moved him to start coming off the bench, he's been hot in terms of shooting. So give me Buddy Heald. Skills challenge. The favorite is Spencer Dinwiddie at plus-380. Plus 430, Jason Tatum, Chris Middleton, and Shay Gilgis Alexander. Plus 650, Pascal Siakam. Plus 750, Patrick Beverly. 9 1, Devonta Sabonis. And 12 1, Bam Abadayo. A big man has won it the past couple years. Chris Stapps Porzingis won it, I believe, three years ago. Carl Anthony Towns won it a few years ago. And then Zinwini won it um, last year. Um, I'm kind of intrigued for Devonta Sabonis. He's somebody that's had a great year on the Pacers this year. And um, I really think that he's a deserving all-star. And I think that he can uh, surprise some uh, some people and uh, win this thing. So give me DeMonte Sabonis at 9-1. And the all-star game, Team Giannis against Team LeBron. Team LeBron's a four and a half point favorite. I'm going to lay the four and a half with... Um, uh, Team LeBron. Um, don't feel great about it because I think Team Giannis will get up. But I think that this is going to be all about Kobe Bryant. You're going to see one team do a 24-second violation and the other team do an 8. Um, I love that they're honoring the Bryant family here. Um, I think Team LeBron wins. And the All-Star Game MVP, I'm going to say, goes to LeBron himself. I'll probably bet a guy with a lot of value. LeBron will probably be the favorite, and rightfully so. I just think that um, him being a, a Laker, I think that all the Kobe stuff, he'll... Um, He'll perform a good one for him in his honor. Um, I could totally see LeBron having like, um, like a crazy number of points, like forty points and uh, twelve rebounds and eight assists or something like that. Won't be shocked if he has a triple double. I'm gonna pick LeBron for the MVP and Team LeBron to win the All Star game. NHL, we're going to go over last night's stuff and look ahead to um, tonight in the weekend. Big slate last night. Sabres over to Blue Jackets 4-3 to in overtime on a goal by rookie Victor Olofsson. Stars over to Maple Leafs 3-2. to Lightning over to Oilers 3-1. to Flyers over to Panthers 6-2. to Devils over to Red Wings 4-1. to Senators over to Coyotes 3-2. to Predators over the Islanders, 5-0. Rangers over the Wild, 4-3 in a shootout. Capitals over the Avs, 3-2. Golden Knights over the Blues, 6-5 in overtime on a goal by Jonathan Marsh Assault. Flames over the Ducks, 6-0. Four games tonight, Rangers at the Blue Jackets, Canadians at the Penguins, Sharks at the Jets, and Devils at the Hurricanes, all at 7 o'clock. Saturday, 1 o'clock, Red Wings at the Bruins. 3 o'clock, Predators at the Blues. 4 o'clock, Flyers at the Lightning. Oilers at the Panthers. 5 o'clock, Sharks at the Wild. 7 o'clock, Stars at the Canadians. Maple Leafs at the Senators. 8 o'clock, NBC. Kings at the Avalanche. It's a Coors Light Stadium Series. Games can be played, I believe, at uh, uh, Coors Field in Colorado. On the call of the game, probably Doc Emmerich, Eddie Olchek, Brian Boucher, Pierre Maguire. Should be fun. Um, I'm going to go with the Avalanche in a home game. I think that they're way better than the Kings. Um, they're a team that's in contention for the Cup. I think they, on a national spot, want to show people that they're capable of getting the job done. So give me the Avalanche. 10 o'clock, Blackhawks at the Flames. Capitals at the Coyotes. 10.30, Islanders at the Golden Knights. That's a tough back-to-back for the Isles. 
Actually, no, back-to-back games, but not really uh, back-to-back nights. Sunday, 12 o'clock NBC, Red Wings at the Penguins. That's a terrible game. I'm going to call this game will probably be John Forslund and um, somebody. Probably um, Mike Milbury. Um, Penguins at home, that's a lock, almost. Red Wings are terrible. Why are they on NBC? 3.30 NBC, Bruins Rangers, so another bad team on NBC. But the Rangers, to their credit, are playing really well right now. Guess what? I'm actually going to pick the Rangers in an upset. Um, They're playing better at home. They're playing better against good teams. Um, They're on a nice run right now. I don't know if they'll win the night against Columbus. That's a tough ask. But I do think that they can win against the Bruins at home. The Bruins really haven't played all that great. And the game goes down to a shootout in overtime. I'm going to say the Rangers get it done in overtime. In a big spot. On the call this game, I think will be Kenny Albert and Joe Micheletti. So they'll put the Ranger home flavor on NBC in that one. Um, 4 o'clock, Oilers at the Hurricanes. 5 o'clock, Ducks at the Canucks. 6 o'clock, Senators host the Stars. Blue Jackets at the Devils. NBCSN, the Blues at the Predators. Um, we're going with the Blues on the road. The Predators are not that good this year. So give me the Blues on the road. 7 o'clock, the Maple Leafs at the Sabres. And 8.30, you have... The Blackhawks at the Jets. Now I want to get into the Daytona 500 a little bit, um, which is obviously on Sunday. Um, Should be a good race. I'm going to go through some of the odds for the American race, which is always good. Daytona 500 is the race that um, everybody loves. Um, The favorite for the Daytona 500, there's co-favorites, uh, Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. 10-1, um, uh, Joey Logano. 11-1, Kevin Harvick. 12-1, Martin Truex Jr. and Brad Kozlowski. 14-1, Chase Elliott. 16-1, Ryan Blaney. 20-1, William Byron. Matt DiBonetto. Jimmy Johnson, who's retiring this year. That'd be kind of cool if he won. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who got the pull. 22 to 1 Eric Amarola, Alec Bauman. 25 to 1 Clint Boyer, Kurt Busch, Kyle Larson, Eric Jones. 23 to 1 Austin Dillon, Ryan Newman. 40 to 1 Bubba Wallace. 50 to 1 Christopher Bell, Chris Boucher, Cole Custer, Ty Dillon, Tyler Reddick. 60 to 1 uh, Ross Chaston. 80 to 1 Michael McDowell, John uh, Nemechek. 80 to 1. Uh, 100 to 1. Ryan Priest. Justin Haley. David Reagan. 125 to 1. Brendan Gaughan. 200 to 1. Brendan Poole. Corey LaJoy. Reed Sorensen. 250 to 1. BJ McLeod. 400 to 1. Joey Gase. Timmy Hill. Quinn Hauf. I love Austin Dillon at 33 to 1. I can't believe that he's 33 to 1. He's a good driver. He got the pole in this race a couple of years ago. So, I'm going to go with Austin Dillon at 33-1 to 1 to win the Great American Race as my pick. Now I'm going to do my MLB mock draft. Or, I'm sorry, redraft from last year. Um, this was a tough list to put together. So... Uh, without further ado, here we go. Number one, Baltimore Orioles, um, Adley Rutschman. So no do over here. Number four, MLB.com prospect was an A ball. Um, the ETA is 2021. Royals, no do over here. They go with Bobby Witt Jr., the shortstop. Number 10 overall, MLB prospect. He was in rookie ball. ETA 2022. White Sox, number three, go with Andrew Vaughn, the first baseman, so no do over there. Number 16, MLB.com prospect. He's an advanced day last year. ETA 2021. Number four, the Marlon C.J. Abrams, the shortstop, number 25 overall prospect on MLB.com. A ball, ETA 2022. Five, the Tigers, J.J. Boudet, the outfielder. Um, number 28 on MLB.com, advanced day, ETA 2021. 
Six, the Padres go with Riley Green, the outfielder. Number 31 on MLB.com. A ball in um, last year and then ETA 2022. Number seven, the Reds go with Nick Lodolo, the lefty, so no do over there. Number 48 on MLB.com. Rookie ball, ETA 2021. Eight, Rangers, Josh Chung, third baseman, so no do over there. 55 on MLB.com. A ball, ETA 2021. Braves at nine, Shea Langleyers, catcher, so no do over there. 70 MLB Network, A ball, ETA 2022. 10, Giants, Hunter Bishop, outfielder, no do over there. Number 71 on MLB.com. Short A, ETA 2022. Number 11, Blue Jays, Bryson Stott, shortstop. Number 87 on MLB.com. Short A, ETA 2022. Mets, Corbin Cowell, outfielder. Number 89 on MLB.com. Short A, ETA 2023. Twins, go with Brett Beatty, the third baseman. Number 93 on MLB.com, short A, ETA 2022. Phillies at 14, go with George Kirby, the righty. Number 100 on MLB.com, currently in short A, ETA 2021. Well, not currently in short A, but last seen in short A. 15, the Angels go with Zach Thomason, the lefty. He's number 6 in the Cardinals system. He's an advanced day. 16, Diamondbacks, Braden Shoemaker, the shortstop, number 9 in the Braves system, ETA. Um, I think it was 2021. Bounce between A and double A last year. Nats go with Jackson Rutledge, the righty. No do over there. Number three in their system was an A ball last year. 18, the Pirates go with Ethan Small, the lefty. Number five in Milwaukee system, an A ball. 19, Cardinals, Cody House, third baseman, the seventh ranked prospect in the Dodgers system, was an A ball last year. Mariners at 20 go with Michael Bush, the first baseman. Number eight guy in the Dodgers system was an A ball last year. 21, the Braves go with Cameron Minsner, the outfielder, number 9 in Miami system, an A-ball last year. 22, the Rays go with Matt Walner, the outfielder, number 14 in the Minnesota Twin system, current, or was an A-ball last year. Number 23, the Rockies go with um, Alec Manoa, the righty, number 3 in Toronto system, in short A last year. 24, the Indians go with Will Wilson, the second baseman, number 10 in San Francisco system. He was traded from the Angels to the Giants in a deal that landed the Angels um uh who did they trade for last year that the Giants ended up getting a uh, Will Wilson. And I thought that was a lopsided win for the Giants too. The Uno was an infielder, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um number ten in San Francisco system in short A. Twenty five Dodgers go with Quinn Priester, the righty number six in Pittsburgh system was in short A last year. Twenty six the Diamondbacks, Michael Toglia, first baseman, number five in Colorado system, was in Trade last year. 27, the Cubs, Ryan Jansen, the righty, so no do over there. He's seven in their system, was in Trade last year. Brewers at 28, go with Logan Davidson, the shortstop, number seven in Oakland system, was in Trade last year. 29, the ace go with Greg Jones, infielder. From the Rays, number eight in their system. Short A last year. Yankees at 30 go with Daniel Espino, the righty. Um, number nine in the Indian system was in short A last year. Dodgers at 31 go with um, Davis Wenzel, the third baseman. Number nine in Texas system was in short A last year. And 32 Astros. Anthony Volpe, the shortstop. Number 10 in the Yankees system was in short A last year. Some football news I want to talk about. Um, Josh Norman is getting released by the Washington Redskins. That was one of the bigger um, free agent flop signings over the last couple of years in terms of big names and big contracts. Um, had one great year in Carolina. Carolina initially franchised him and then unfranchised him. And the Redskins signed him outright five years. I believe it was um, $85 million or $90 million, and now the Redskins are cutting him. They obviously want to go younger. Um, he did not pan out to what they thought he was. So I'm interested to see if a change of scenery and going to a better team would help Josh Norman going forward. So um, not a huge surprise in my opinion. I feel like there's going to be a lot of other big names released and um, traded before the start of the uh, NFL uh, free agent season. So um, 
that's going to be a little interesting. All right, um, some news in the sports media. Jess Mendoza is not returning to Sunday Night Baseball. That is been flooded out there for a while, but I just wanted to address it. I'm not surprised. Um, Jess has kind of been um, a little um, chatty, um, somebody that uh, would make some wacky points. Um, she's a good baseball analyst, but I don't think she really belongs on Sunday Night Baseball. So it's Matt Fast Surgeon and A-Rod right now. David Cohn was the favorite to replace Mendoza, but he turned the job down. I think because he likes being at yes, and um, he's somebody that uh, is one of the best analysts in the game. I don't blame ESPN for going after Cohn. I feel like that'd be a lot of work for him going uh, to uh, ESPN to do that. And yes, you know, Ron Darling does both um, SNY and uh, Turner, so um, I've seen analysts do multiple things. And then... Uh, um, the guy from the Red Sox, um, I'm blanking on his name, the guy that uh, had all the drama with David Price. Dennis Eckersley. He does TV for the Red Sox and he does uh, Turner as well. So there's a lot of analysts that do both. And I guess that Cone just chose to uh, just do yes and uh, um, be with uh, the Yankees a little bit instead of do, going on the national stage. Meanwhile, he does work for Fox as well, so I guess that had to do with it as well. I guess he wanted to uh, stay with Fox and um, work with Joe Buck sometimes and even uh, Kenny Albert, Kevin Burkhart, um, Joe Davis. So um, I guess that's why uh, Cohn decided to uh, not do ESPN. I forgot about the Fox thing, so he does do another network, but... um. I obviously think that he wanted to stay at yes, and then he chose Fox over ESPN because um, there's a lot of um, people at Fox that uh, he's friends with. And yes, he used to be affiliate with Fox, but the Yankees bought back the Yes Network from Fox. So um, I don't know if Cohn's still going to be at Fox. I guess he will, only because he turned down this ESPN gig. So um, I'm interested to see uh, what happens here. With uh, Coney. Sunday night premieres the next season of American Idol. Um, it's on ABC. Ryan Seacrest is obviously still the host. Um, he's somebody that um, has been awesome with this. Uh, Season 18, unbelievable. The judges, Luke Bryan, Katy Perry, and Lionel Richie. The same three judges from the past couple years. So, um, the preliminary um, auditions took place in um, Nashville, New York. Mobile, Alabama, Macon, Georgia, Tallahassee, Santa Barbara, Baton Rouge, Columbia, Vegas, Waco, Knoxville, Salt Lake City, Colorado Springs, Raleigh, D.C., Wichita, San Jose, Pittsburgh, Springfield, Spokane, Detroit, Nashville, and Chicago. And the regional auditions... um. We're in Savannah, Milwaukee, D.C., L.A., and Portland. I really don't know um, which audition will be shown on the uh, first episode. I'm going to take a look now. Um, Katy Perry I really, really like as a judge on this show, by the way. Um, I think she does a great job. Um, Luke Bryan's interesting. He, I think he's done a good job, and then obviously Lionel Richie's a good fit. Um, so Idol, um, two-hour show. The, um, Savannah, Milwaukee, and D.C. and L.A. auditions. Bits and pieces of those auditions are, um, being aired on Sunday night. So, 
Should be a very, very fun show. Last but not least, my best bet of the day, brought to you by DraftKings. All right. Um, I meant to say FanDuel, by the way. Um, we're going to do a hockey, and we'll do college basketball since NBA. Um, there's no NBA tonight. Um, so college basketball's best bet. Um, that's pretty tough. I am going to go with, hmm, that is very tough, guys. Um, let's go with, hmm. Um, St. Bonaventure minus four at home against Davidson. Do I feel great about it? No. But it's a bet I think that's uh, worth making. And in hockey, um, four games to choose from. I like picking dogs. Um... I'm going to go with San Jose plus 125 at Winnipeg as my best uh, hockey bet, the under the underdog bet of the night in hockey. As badly as I want to bet the Rangers at Columbus, that's a good one too. They're getting the uh, same price as uh, San Jose. But I just think that uh, the second of a back-to-back is going to be tough. So give me the San Jose Sharks here for the road upset over the Winnipeg Jets. That's it for the podcast today. I'll be back on Monday recapping everything from the weekend and looking ahead to next week's stuff. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, everybody.